Joining us today, we have Nate and Andy Smith. They are the father-son duo here at the Goddard School of Mount Pleasant. Thank you both for having us today. No, thank you so much for being here. All right, it's a busy day here at the Goddard School, but first off, let's just talk about your mission and why you decided to start the school here. Yeah, for us, family is number one. So for us being able to be a father-son team and bring those family values to the Mount Pleasant area, has always been a dream and goal for us. And the way we look at it on a day-to-day -day basis is our families, our team members, and anyone and everyone in between is family for us. And that's how they'll be treated. And so why did y'all decide to, I mean, what started this father-son situation? Do you both have a, a background in this? I mean. Actually, neither one of us have an education primary background. Uh, I was in the corporate world for a long time. And Nathan, after grad school, was in, corporate, in the corporate world. We knew this is where we wanted to be geographically, and when I was exiting the corporate world, I was thinking about my next vocation and where I wanted to retire. Love this area, and as early education grew on me and grew on me, uh, Nate was like, I'd love to be part of it, and I couldn't imagine doing this with anybody else. It's been remarkable. So I gotta know this, like who's the disciplinary, like as far as when y'all are walking the halls and things like that. So what are you, what are you known for? I'm sure oh, the kids. That's a great question. Uh, we made it our day one goal is we're all about fun, fun but fair. Uh, the children respect us, but they know they can come to us with anything and everything. We're here for them 100%. Uh, there's times we're gonna be a little more stern, but it's really for their best interest for their whole development. All right, so as far as like what makes the Goddard School of Mount Pleasant different, what would you say? Uh, it all stems from the culture that he and I have built and we've instilled in our team and our families. And it really trickles down from the fact that he and I are here every day for a hands-on with our families and children. We help out our team members as best we can without being in the way, but they know they can come to us with anything and absolutely everything. And uh, it makes our days incredible knowing that we're having that daily impact and families know exactly who they can come to. And the directors are always coming up with new programs and things like that. Yeah, they're fully immersed in the curriculum. You know, they are with uh, teaching, working with the, the teachers themselves, developing, hiring, training, retaining, and making sure they have the best environment to provide the learning tools uh, for each of the classrooms. In addition to, we are obviously a STEAM-based school. You know, from a core curriculum, it's STEAM-based. Then we have a ton of enrichment programs that really wrap around the STEAM. Um, everything from introducing Spanish as a second language to three-year-olds all the way through kindergarten. Um, we do child yoga, music, dance. Um, we introduce chess, which is, uh, it works on the cognitive skills and uh, chess at three years old. And, and it's been amazing for us being able to partner with local organizations and businesses as well. So everything from soccer shots, to Charleston Academy of Music, the Charleston Aquarium, anything and everything that we can do to really introduce the children to all walks of life while enriching their learning while they're here. So what's your overall mission though with this school? I mean, where do you hope it will be? I know it's come a long way in a very short time. Yeah, so when we opened the school a little over a year, oh, almost a year ago now, um, you know, simple beginnings only had a handful of children, and we had an idea of what the school would be all about, but the way it's really evolved in the course of 10 months is, it's incredible. Now, what I envisioned then, and now actually reaching fruition, now what I see in the future is years of a legacy of families growing up in Mount Pleasant, and the children that are here now, coming back in 10 years when they're finishing high school, then come in and bring in their kids back 10 years later. And we've met some other franchisees around the country and that's what they speak to. Um, I couldn't be more proud about what we do, uh, that's for sure, but it's, it's a joy that they put on our face every day. You can hear it in the background right now. And you can definitely tell when the kids come up to y'all that they have a great time with you. So you're, you, don't, you don't give off the principal vibe, you know? I would like say that. the directors are more the discipl disciplinarians. Because mm -hmm, um, they're very hands-on. They are. Right? And y'all have a great team here. And we're actually going to hear from the directors who say there's a lot here that makes the Goddard School of Mount Pleasant very special. 
Goddard is so different from the other schools, um, just with our flex program and our ability to constantly um, customize the lesson plan and we observe and assess every day. I've been at different preschools, a director for seven years and it's just night and day being able to see the difference that teachers are, be able, to, are able to be hands-on and engaging while also assessing those students so they can go back and make those uh, modifications to their lesson plans when needed. I am just so fulfilled every day watching what happens here. The kids are happy to come in the door, their teachers are happy to see them, the teachers have activities planned, and it's just school readiness is one of our, um, one of our goals, but we also want them to be ready for life and we want them to be ready for their careers. And so if those things are happening here while we're building that foundation, then um, you know, we know we have confidence that when we send them out to their um, school life, it will be, they'll be successful.